Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life .com, and today we're going to be changing the wick in this lovely little zippo here. It's a pretty straightforward process, uh, I suppose we'll dive straight in. So first thing you'll need, obviously your lighter, a spare wick and I'd say a pair of pliers and maybe something to poke the wick through, you'll, uh, well we'll get to that in a second. Um, so the process is pretty straightforward and simple if I fetch this up to the camera. Hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate. The most awkward part really, after you've reinserted the wick, is mingling it in with all the rayon balls so that it gets a good exposure to the fluid that you put into the lighter. First things first, as you might expect, pop the centrepiece of the lighter out of the case. And then, well, you've got a couple of options I suppose really. First of all, if you are only wanting to make the wick longer or fetch a new piece of wick up, then if you pop your pliers into the end there and then give it a nice even pressure sometimes the wicks are more locked in place than others and this is very locked in place but as you can see once you've once you've broke that first sort of hold that it's got you can start to slowly ease it out so if the case was that the wick was just tarnished and exposed on the top part then you can simply cut that off there and start using the lighter as usual these wicks are about four inches long, so there's plenty of um, coiled wick in there. But for the purposes of this video, we shall go the full uh, way and pull this right out. And like I say, obviously this... Ah, lovely. That was pretty straightforward. Once it had started to come, perfect. So you can see there, pretty much simple piece of wick that would all coil up around inside the fuel compartment there. So, if we move that to one side... The next thing to do really, well, I suppose we need our other wick out of the packet. Now comes the more time consuming and awkward part of it. The, first of all obviously we need to pop the rayon out of there, then thread this up and then put everything back in as you saw on the instructions there, sort of threading the wick around through the rayon. So let's dive in and get straight to it. In fact I'd be tempted to say it's probably going to be easier if I take that uh, screw off and then I'm just very careful that the flint doesn't come out. So once again, being very careful that we don't lose any of the parts from there. And now if I pop this out, should hopefully be a nice simple process. Looking straight into the lighter there, it's just a case, like I've said, of start popping all these bits out. There's one. There's two. Finally, just about, there is piece number four. There's one more in there that's just behind there, but I think I'll leave that because I'm not going to be threading the wick around the back part there. So, I don't know if you can see there, but you can see straight through to the hole at the back. So now, this you can imagine is the sort of fiddly tricky part. Right, first things first, I'll try and get this as straight as I can. And it is literally a case now of trying to thread that straight down there. And this is where you might need a little screwdriver or just something to help try and push it through. After a lot of fiddling around I managed to get it done and basically it ended up being a combination of using a thin tool to poke it through and then getting just enough uh, sticking up that I could use the pliers to grab it and pull it through. So what you basically want now is to pull that level with the chimney, it's about a sensible level there. And then it's as simple a case as the instructions on the back made it look, start popping these back in. So I think I'll go for one in there first. Don't know if you can see in the background, this is something to watch out for. It's just a little bit of fluid being left in some of these and it's leaked out onto the table and is now evaporating. And like I say, we're just going to keep pressing those down and pressing more fuel, uh, more of the rayon balls back. And finally, push the last one back in there. You want these to obviously be 
nice and tightly compacted in there. I'll say once again, if you are going to remove that screw there, then watch out that you don't lose your flint, as I very nearly did. We let's have a look. Which way around do we want to do this? Pop that bottom piece on first, I think. There, and then that will all go nice and tightly compressed again. So, pop that up. Back in we go. And as somebody said, they don't recommend um, tightening this up with a screwdriver like I had done. And I suppose really, ultimately, you obviously want ease of access if you are out and about and wanting to unscrew this and change your flint. But also, what I realised is obviously there's no need to really have that super tightened up. Because most of the time it is literally cased in metal and not in any way exposed or likely to fall out. So, finally, that's all. Um, I suppose really we want to put a little bit of lighter fluid in actually. And I'm sure you know this process now. Back in we go. Probably just need to allow it a little bit of uh, time to obviously let the new fuel seep through the wick. I'll move that out of the way, just so we don't have any terrible, terrible incidents. And, well, look at that, straight away. Absolutely fantastic. That's a big old flame as well. Maybe I need to um, just trim that wick a little bit back. But there you have it. That is how simple it is to change the wick of a Zippo. Well, I'm impressed with that, that it instantly lit. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my other videos for loads more bits and pieces like this. Um, if you're into the outdoors and that sort of thing, I've got a lot of things like that and things like these lovely multi-tools and stuff. I live on a boat, so there's plenty of outdoors and general narrowboat lifestyle sort of things going on. So, thank you very much. Subscribe, like the Facebook page. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, add to my personal Facebook account. And well, until the next time, have a fantastic day. Farewell.